Good morning. Well, at least it's morning where I'm at. I pray that wherever you are and whatever time of day it is, that you feel the power and the presence of Jesus Christ this day. My name is Beth Jones, and I serve as the District Superintendent for the Williamsport District here in the Susquehanna Conference of the United Methodist Church. I want to share with you today a short snapshot of a vision that I have for the Williamsport District. Now, there's a big difference between vision and mission. As I hope you know already, the mission of the United Methodist, the, yeah, the mission of the United Methodist Church is to connect people to Jesus Christ in order to change the world. Or put another way, to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. The conference has developed a vision in order to fulfill that mission. And that's what a vision is, something that you craft so that the mission can be accomplished, the purpose for being. The vision of the conference is to raise up and equip vital leaders, to resource vital congregations and to lift up new places for new people, and also to promote our connectionalism so that we can be in ministry together. The vision that I have for the Williamsport District, my hope is will come alongside the vision of the conference, but we'll pull back a little bit from that to look at the vital basics that we need to address as disciples of Jesus Christ and also as people of the United Methodist Church to reset as we come together as two former districts into one district that's working together to connect with God and to be in ministry. The first part of this vision that I have for the Williamsport District is simply this, to listen to God. Now, I, I know that sounds pretty basic, but it's amazing how we as leaders in the church have sometimes gotten away from our own connection to Jesus Christ in order to be in ministry. And instead, we have substituted the work for the institution for our vital connection to God. And so my hope is that in this first part of the vision, we will learn again how to connect with God together. Some of our supportive fellowship is just going to be gathering together to talk about our spiritual disciplines and then to spend sometimes hours in silence. I know that's scary for pastors, and sometimes it's a challenge for me. But at the same time, I have found that by being able to listen well to God, even in the very beginning of the day, Sometimes the direction of the day has changed because I've been listening to God's Spirit. And that's what I pray for our churches and our leaders here in the Williamsport District. That we will not just focus on prayer to God, but rather listening to God and learning how to center ourselves once again in the presence and the power of Jesus Christ. The second vision that I have for our district is to be able to connect with one another and to resource one another. I believe that most of the resources that we need to be revitalized congregations in the Williamsport District exist right here on our district. Except that we have gotten the feeling that we need as local churches to be good at everything. Well, that's just not possible. But I'll bet you know even today the passion and the, the ministry that your local church is particularly good at. Maybe for you it's mission or youth ministry or connecting with uh, uh, local services in your, in your own community. Whatever it is, I pray that you work hard on that and that you lift that up for your local church for other churches to see that if they want to go in that particular direction, you might be a resource for them. I also think it's important to focus on what our strengths are so that we don't feel like we're so diluted that we're not doing anything well. In our uh, times together, in our supportive fellowship, my hope is that we can come and put on workshops for one another, that we can learn of the strengths of other people, that if there's something we want to improve on in our local church for Jesus Christ, we can learn from one another how to do that well. Thirdly, the vision that I have, or part of the vision that I have for the Williamsport District is simply this, 
that we need to be about changing the world for Jesus Christ. For too long, we have existed as a church for ourselves. And that worked well in the last century. We'd open our doors and people would stream into our churches for the programs that we had already set up. You know and I know that it's not like that anymore. But we also know that there are people out there that are searching for a connection with God and they don't know how to get there. We as churches need to make our mission connecting those people with Jesus Christ, not existing for ourselves to make ourselves comfortable or to do fundraisers so that we can keep our building open. That's not why God has us here. And folks, in in 100 years, all of us are going to be dead and with Jesus anyway. So why not take the risk to get out there, to listen to the people in our community and to say to them, what do you need from us? How can we be of help to you? And in doing so, gaining their trust so that they might see the work of Jesus Christ in us. I hope it's alive in you. Because if it is, people will see that and want that same real spiritual connection for themselves. And so we help each other do that. In our supportive fellowship over the next year, I hope that several times I will be able to locate folks to bring in to challenge us in what we do. Because sometimes we need a word from the outside to challenge us. And so I pray that uh, you will come and be a part of that and be able to uh, learn for ourselves what God's plan for us outside the walls is all about. Folks, I'm excited to be in ministry with you here in the Williamsport District. And I pray God's blessing upon you as you continue to make yourself available for the work of Jesus Christ as together we transform the world.